Hello friends, hope everyone is doing great in life. In the previous video, we did a detailed analysis of syllabus. In this video, I will be talking about services, various services offered through UPSC. But before that, I will tell you what happens once you clear this exam. So usually your final result comes in the month of April and you will get a rank and based upon your rank, you will be getting your post. Uh, for let's say if you are getting a rank of 100, so you will get into IAS and it also depends upon the preferences you made during uh, while filling the form and also based upon the category. So I'm talking about IAS, I'm not talking about other services, uh, I'm talking about IAS. So if you are a general candidate, then you have to get a top 100 rank uh, for getting into IAS and if you are OBC category, then uh, uh, 300, 250 to 300 rank will be sufficient and for the SCST category, 500, 550 will be sufficient. And for other services, it uh, actually lowers with the low ranks also, you'll be getting into service, some other services. Okay, so what happens after that? After that, you will be going to Labasna, which is Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration, and it is in Dehradun. And here uh, you have your foundation course, and it is common for all services. And uh, what happens there is it's a classroom. You'll have classes, you'll have exams, you'll have a lot of things there. So as you can see, this is the classroom, and here we have our um, Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi ji. He is giving some lectures. This is officers' mess, and you have your accommodation. It will be a furnished two sharing bedroom type. So you'll have all the amenities, basic amenities. And apart from your studies, apart from the uh, technicalities or other things, you'll have also have these uh, uh, fun activities. You'll have culture, cultural fest, you'll have India Day. Uh, it is like uh, all the states will be representing, uh, the candidates will be representing their states. It is India Day and you'll have Himalayan trek. Uh, you'll be going to the mighty Himalaya for uh, trekking. You'll have Bharat Darshan. So it will be a fun site. It will be like parallel academics plus fun site will be like uh, parallel running. Okay, so these are these are the various services offered IAS, IPS, IFS, uh, Indian Forest Service, IRS and totally you have around 24 services. So I'll be dealing with these major services because these are the services which are opted by many and people used to write exam for just to get into these services. IAS service is all about. After your uh, foundation course in Labasna, you'll have your further training in Labasna itself and the hierarchy of your designation will be in the starting years you will be subdivisional magistrate after that you will be ADM and then district magistrate so after seven or eight years of your service you will become the district magistrate which is also called as district collector or collector uh, don't think that once you are getting into service you will be roaming in car no <coughs> but you will get all the attention and respect from the society which you desire and which you deserve to be frank and the topmost position will be cabinet secretary of India which is dream post for many aspirants my suggestion will be if you plan on getting into this post you should get into service at an early age so let's say 21 or 22 since to get into this post you'll it will take around 37 to 40 years of your service and the retirement age is 60 if you calculate it will be 21 or 22 will be the apt age to get into service you'll have all the basic amenities you'll have your bungalow you'll have police protection you'll have gardener cook telephone bills official car those were the days when you were given uh, ambassador now it's you know Krista either or Mahindra Scorpio or you'll get all these things but all you have to do is serve the people Indian police service and Indian forest service so now let's see what IPS is all about after your training in Labasna you'll be going to Sada Vallabhai Patel National Police Academy which is in Hyderabad from there you'll have your training this is the academy and it's 11 month training and during training you will be paid you will have a field training also so basically it's not your training it's part of your job and you'll be called as probationary and this is the hierarchy uh, you'll be joining as DSP deputy superintendent of police and it goes on up to DIG uh, director general DGP and you have your pay scale here so from your initial time you'll be getting 5600 will be your enhanced salary and it goes on and it's seventh pay commission so when you join if you join now and when you reach up to this level it will be either ninth or tenth uh, we don't know about that 
okay so you will have a bungalow you will have car you will have all the basic amenities again you have to serve the people and the law and order of the district is in your hands you will be dealing with high profile cases uh, any sort of cases will be dealt by you and you will be uh, you will be coordinating with the dm district magistrate of that district and uh, there is a uh, much hype about the uh, uniform services in India like it will be uh, usually shown in the movies about uh, encountering and all so it's not like that you will be totally in the administrative field you will be administering you will be uh, giving orders it's not about you will be doing and encountering or you will be uh, in the field work there that will that will be also uh, there in the uh, service but the major portion of your service will be on administrative work you will be a decision maker in the police department okay so next service is indian forest service which is uh, not much aware of that like people are not much aware of and uh, so for after your uh, training in labasna you'll go to uh, indira gandhi uh, national forest academy which is in dehradun and uh, you'll have your training here and what is the job profile of ifs so usually it is uh, implementation of national forest policy and management of natural resources you have uh, the forest department so the whole department uh, whole forest will be under the control of this department and they have their indi individual and autonomous uh, judicial and uh, finance system the forest service that is a unique thing about thing about it and the tribal conflicts and all other things will be dealt by uh, forest service officers okay so in your training uh, in the indira gandhi national academy forest academy after completion of your training you will be uh, awarded with masters degree in science forestry from forest research institute and after four years you'll like this is the uh, hierarchy you will be joining as junior time scale so after four years you will be posted as divisional forest officer so dfo which is known by many people dfo it will take time so once you get into a service like once you crack the exam and to actually sit in this position it will take some time and this is the hierarchy you can check it and these are the various pay scale and you have allowances also okay in the next video we will be dealing with indian foreign service so stay tuned thank you